Hi, I'm Mary, and I'm going to show you how to do blackout poetry. Let's get started. Blackout poetry is a piece of text like I have here, and you completely block it out, color it out, except for a few words that you've selected. And these words that you select become a new story. So the supplies that you need are a piece of text or a newspaper or a page out of an old book, a pencil, and a permanent marker. Some people will use paint, so you could use paint to get different colors or just using white instead of the black, but I have a marker here today to use. So the first thing you're going to do is just scan through your text and see words that stand out to you. And you're going to circle those. And you want to circle them lightly because they may not be um, exactly what you want. So I'm just going to circle some here. And so you're going to want to read them through again because you may find that this word looks better than the other one. So you want to make sure you erase the ones that you're not going to use. And what you're going to do next then is you're going to mark them off with the black marker so you don't go over them by mistake. So you just take your black Sharpie marker and you're going to go just circle around them. Each one, make sure you get the, the space on either side of the last and beginning letter so that you can read the word. You're then going to move into where you're going to mark it out. So you just color it in and it's okay to leave a little bit of white space. It gives it a little texture and it's going to look like this. So I have my, my poem here, afraid, either way, hurrying, sadly, wondering, alas, to get out. And then I decided to embellish it. I had this sticker, so I decided to embellish it with that little sticker just to add a little bit of something to it. So now that you know how to do blackout poetry, I'm sure you have lots of things at home that you can use. So thank you for listening and we'll see you next time. Bye.